As visible in a previous video you could see that the red painted parts are in a quite bad condition. They were really dusty and dirty. And the worst was definitely the rear panel. And even after months of working on this bike there's one question not answered. We know the history of the bike since one year when it was new. So the guy I know bought the bike when it was one year old. But what happened in the first year of this bike? After cleaning the parts it was clear that something was going on. Because what is the original color? That's the question. And on some parts you can clearly see that the parts without the gold line definitely don't have the original color because it's not done as good as I would expect from BMW. So why would you repaint parts when they are not even one year old? Doesn't make sense. One answer is the bike had an accident but there was clearly no visible sign of that at all. So I would say that didn't happen. Anyway, we figured out that this bike had this great red color with the gold effect and the golden lines. So I was lucky. I found a painter who would do the paint job for me and he even took pictures doing it. And actually he said he wouldn't do a job like that for at least one year now because it was horrible. The paint was real thick, it stank when he grinded it and it had many holes in it. I asked him to close the holes on the front part and Overall, it was just too much work, but he did an amazing job and that's the finished parts while drying. I'm so happy how it turned out. Now let's have a detailed look at the painted parts. I really, really like that color with these gold effect in it. It looks so good and he did such a good job. I can't believe it. You saw how this part looked in the beginning? It was welded. It was wavy as hell. Okay, but now enough of this. Let's mount the parts and see how this bike will look in the end. First try with a tank. Nope. Try again. I don't want to spread these parts anymore and like so I can't get it on. I need to look up what's the trick here. Fun fact, the workshop manual says spread the part and put it over but don't spread it too much because it can break. Thank you for this. Since this now is only the first fitting and to satisfy me because I really wanted to see the parts on the bike, the golden lines which will go on here are still missing and will follow up on the tank and that's why we mounted these parts as well. Now I want to mark this edge so the one doing the stripes later on will know where this one will follow. All the red parts are sitting at the pinstriper right now and waiting for the golden lines and when this is done we will actually finish off this project. Thank you for watching and subscribe. <laughs> Oi.